Welcome to Big Bear Trailers and Outdoor. This afternoon, we've got a review for you on basically how to hitch up and unhitch. Um, this particular trailer is a Debon C300, but to be fair, the Debon range and also the Cheval Liberty range of horse trailers are very, very similar if it has an auto lift jockey wheel. So this is just going through the process to make sure we're unhitching and hitching safely. So just to show you, first up, if you have a look, the hitch handle is ready to receive, so that we've pulled the trigger, lifted the handle up and it's pointing to red. But we do have a different in height and also distance here. So what I'm gonna do, you see a lot of people lifting trailers up, really don't wanna be doing that. So what I'm gonna do, use the jockey wheel, just raise that up so we can bring the hitch nicely over and rest it on the tow ball. With this particular trailer, I know the trailer's empty, so it's nice and safe for me to release the handbrake. So I'm gonna release it, but I've got a pull handle here so we can then bring the trailer in. So I'm gonna release the handbrake, pull the trailer in that little bit. I just need that bit there. Pop the handbrake back on again. So the hitch is loitering over the tow ball, which is brilliant. And then I'm just gonna wind down. So what should happen, there it is, I think. There we go, I was just a bit too far forward. So what's happened now is the hitch has engaged. You can see the hitch handle's now gone flat. It's gone to the green zone in the middle there. So that's good. But we'd always like to double check that we're hitched correctly. So what I'm gonna do is test it by taking the trailer back up on its jockey wheel. Um, it's called, we call it the caravan club test. Um, so I think it's something they used to endorse. So basically what you can see, the hitch is still holding on and it's actually starting to lift the rear of the car. So we know we're safe on that front. Now, bear with me a second because I'm normally the other side of the hitch at this stage. So we know that's safe and secure. So the next thing I want to do is get the jockey wheel up and out the way. On this one, because it is an auto lift jockey wheel, it's nice and easy. This is really a nice selling point. So basically I'm just gonna try and control the jockey wheel because it wants to spin out towards the camera and yourselves. So what I'm gonna do is just keep winding. And we can show you in a second what's gonna happen. Normally with a lot of jockey wheels, you have to wind them up and then release a clamp, lift it up, clamp it off, remember to clamp it tight enough. But all that's gonna happen here is you can probably just see coming to shot, there's this vertical pin. It's gonna come up, hit this horizontal collar, and then the interesting auto lift bit is gonna to start to happen. So just to show you, just starting to come up now and as you see the wheels coming up we're going to bring it up so that the wheels touching that vertical pin what i do like to do sometimes is just allow it to come across so that we're over the a-frame so in essence the tires on the pin i've never ever had one come loose before but if it was to come loose it's just going to rest on the a-frame that's it we're as far as the jockey wheel is concerned that's done and dusted so we can now release the handbrake because we know we're hitched up and we're nice and safe. We've got on a brake trailer, we have a breakaway cable. This is designed so that if for any reason your detachable tow bar was to fail or if the hitch was to fail, this cable is attached to the car, cable gets pulled, pulls the brakes on, everything comes to a controlled stop. The thing to watch out for on this particular vehicle I think you can see it on your side, it's got two cutouts. It's got a cutout just there, same on my side here. So with this, what we can do is feed it through and hook that over. Nice and, it's got some slack, but it's nicely robustly attached. The thing to watch out for is if you've got a detachable tow bar. You can in some cases go around the ball, but there's a worry about that, that if your detachable tow bar was ever to fail, that cable is going to go with the, the item and we don't have the benefit of brakes. So do have a look if you have a detachable tow bar somewhere on your housing. There should, ideally not always in every case, there should be somewhere that you can fix to which is permanently attached to the vehicle, not detachable. So look out for that one. Then we've got our electrics. Now I've got 13 pin electrics going to a 13 pin vehicle. I could come straight there, but as you can see, this is gonna catch on the floor and that cable is gonna be destroyed fairly quickly. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is come up over the hitch here and then come in because I've got some nice amount of slack, but we're all safe and sound. With this, you're gonna line the square block with a square cutout. We're gonna start there and it looks peculiar because you go, oh, hold on. 
but then we just need to rotate just this collar so that that circle ends up sitting inside the cap just there. That's it. So we're hitched, hitch is good, handbrake off, electrics on, breakaway cable in place, and jockey wheel nice and safe. The next step for us is checking the lights. We would always recommend every time you hitch up to check your lights. So let me now go through, if you'd like me to, the reverse process of taking it all off again. So to keep us safe and sound, let's put the handbrake on first of all. Let's undo the electrics, so we're not worrying about those. We've got a little cubby box just there. Let's undo the breakaway cable. So just pull that through. Tend to tuck that up and over here so it's out of the way. Now, we need to bring the jockey wheel down again. So let's just bring that guy back down so it's got its spot. We're gonna go down, and with the auto lift jockey wheel, it's nice, you can just wind down. And what you tend to do is you'll feel in the handle when the pressure's changing. So once that wheel hits the deck, which we've still got a little way to go just yet. So let's go for it. Nearly there. Still going, still going, still going, still going. Just feeling the change in pressure there now because it's just starting to ground. At that stage, come in, pull the trigger, lift the handle and continue to wind. We should find is we are then up and off. If you're on a really flat surface and it's safe to do so, there's no harm in leaving the handbrake off because what we were finding there is the trailer just wanted to jiggle just a little bit to come off the tow ball. That was, that's why it was hesitating a little bit. But in this case, it could have rolled back a little bit. So I was safer doing it that way. So we're now clear, everything's good. We're now in a position to take the tow vehicle out of the way. Please, please, security make sure you put some trailer security on this straight away because you never know. So let's make sure the trailer's nice and safe and secure. And that's us hitching up and unhitching an auto lift Debon box trailer. If we can help further, got any questions, please do give us a call. My name's Ian from Big Bear Trailers. Thank you.